Princess Charlotte and Princess Beatrice, royal cousins share very special link to Queen. Princess Charlotte and Princess Beatrice may be years apart in age but the royal cousins share a very special connection to the Queen. Princess Charlotte, 5, and Princess Beatrice, 32, are both much loved by Queen Elizabeth II, 94. Beatrice is Prince Andrew's eldest child and the Queen's granddaughter. Princess Charlotte belongs to the next generation of royals and as Prince William, 38 and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge's middle child she is the Queen's great-granddaughter. Charlotte and Beatrice are first cousins once removed and despite the decades between them, they have one huge thing in common. Both of the princesses were christened with the Queen in mind and both have Elizabeth as a first name. Princess Beatrice's full name is Beatrice Elizabeth Mary. Princess Charlotte's full name is Charlotte Elizabeth Diana. The custom of passing royal names down the family is not limited to Beatrice and Charlotte. Princess Anne's daughter Zara Tyndall, 39, was named after her grandmother too. Zara was christened Zara and Elizabeth Phillips. Many of the male royals were also christened to honor Prince Philip. Heir apparent Prince Charles is Charles Philip Arthur George while William is William Arthur Philip Louis. When Prince Charles and subsequently Prince William take the throne they will be free to choose any of their first names to go by as King. This means technically Charles could be known as King Philip or William could decide to be King Louis. A constitutional expert explained the process by which presiding sovereigns pick their regnant names. Ian McMurthan told Express.co.uk, what regnal name a monarch chooses to call themselves, and their reasons for doing so is very much personal to the monarch in question. Recent reigns highlight this fact. Victoria's first name was Alexandrina, yet she chose as her regnal name the one she had been known by all her life. Conversely, her son had been known as Bertie, Albert, all of his life, after his father, but upon his accession, and to distance himself from both his parents, he chose the more familiar kingly name of Edward. His grandson, despite being known to family and friends as David, chose Edward VIII upon becoming king, and after his abdication, and to ensure a sense of continuity, his brother Prince Albert, known to all as Bertie, chose to be known as George VI. He added, even our present queen, in the immediate aftermath of being told of her father's death, was asked by which regnal name she would be known by, from her own name she could have been alternatively Alexandra or Mary, or indeed any name of her choosing. With these practices in mind there has been speculation that Prince Charles might choose the regnal name George to honor his grandfather out of respect to his grandmother the late Queen Mother. Likewise with Prince William's accession he too will have the opportunity to choose his regnal name but it might not necessarily be the one we have come to know him by. What is clear though is that the names our queens and kings choose have invariably been used before and are familiar. Unless seeking to buck this trend, and with neither Scotland, England, or the United Kingdom having had a King Arthur, Philip or Louis before, the likelihood would be that William will become William V.